We could do... Honestly, we could start with a shovel. Shovel might not be a bad start. I say we start with a shovel. I'm also going to get this regeneration. Got the bone arrow. Boom, boom. Both of those are good. I'll take both of those. Thank you. Which, with that being said, we don't need you anymore. So I'm going to start with that. And then we'll get the short bow next round. That'll give us two DPS, which would be great. Um, probably going to lose this one, though, because we don't have stamina. And they kind of just do. But they only got a wooden sword. Their DPS is atrocious. If they had double DPS, we would have more than likely lost that. But now we have shovel. Boom. We can also get the Tuscan poker here. And while we're at it... I mean, we only got a 1.1, but I'll, I'll take I'll take that for the heal. And I'm going to give me another Tuscan. Oh, yeah, definitely going to be picking you up as a kind of a lucky find. Um, being a little bit picky right now in the regeneration situation, but I'll pick it up anyways. Usually I don't unless it's on sale because I am going to go for a Hungry Blade this time. You know what I mean? So Hungry Blade plus regeneration equals a nice little W or a better W rather. We'll take that one. Good game. Boom. I think I'm going to start passing on these whetstones, though. Even though it might be a bad play. I'm going to do it anyways because I've never done it before. And I'm just interested in seeing how well that can actually go if you just pass on whetstones, you know? Because usually you want to actually get them no matter what class you're on. Usually if you're rocking weapons, right? But we'll see what happens. This person's going with double spear. I mean, double shovel. Thankfully, they don't have stamina. So we should win this because they can't attack us because they don't have stamina. We'll take that one. Good game. Um, let's get you. What are we at? Five? We need six. I'm going to just sell that. Just so I can get both of these. Um, for the extra DPS, which means we're going to use more stamina. But on the bright side, we did get ourselves another banana. So we might be fine. We're at 1.5 double bow and arrow with a shovel. Not too shabby. Hero sword double double bow is nasty plus he's got the shield looks like a tied game so far hopefully that blind can stack up for us which seems like it does and we take that home plus the uh five pierce right there was really nice getting the box of riches would be phenomenal but i'm gonna pass on it wow we got the hungry blade which is something we wanted right let's reserve that bloodthirst Nah, let's not go for a bloodthirst we need blueberries and carrots i'm a get this next round another one of these which is nice i'm gonna get this next round that's getting gotten next round i think there was a regeneration there i missed but yeah we're gonna get a next round sell the shovel i just want to get that extra you know you know um get that extra whatever you want to call it out of the shovel just give me a, a really good item give me a pig a free pig would be crazy freaking bow and arrow crit there was nuts damn we almost had that one almost had that one that's okay though you gave me a stone that's okay i'll sell you so i can get you i'm gonna get space as well roll oh there we go mana orb that's beautiful and we are going to move you there move you there um move this here this guy can go inside of the fan or we I, you know, we could put a dps in the side of fanny i don't mind that i don't mind putting a dps inside of there let's do this that's in the third and boom that can go there both of the stones honestly put both of the stones inside of here just for the critting you never know it could crit. There's a very low chance that it will, but it, it could. You know, that uh, two, that four damage can turn to eight. That could be the difference in a game. So this guy's have magic stat, but his only form of mana is a blueberry. So we do have something to be worried about, but not like a lot. You know what I mean? At least not crazy, right? Uh, okay, here we go. It wasn't a crazy thing to worry about. Um, Let's put you there. I'm just going to hit by this because I know I'm going to need space later. Blueberry, nice. Roll. Uh, what are we at? 1.4. I'm going to get you later. I'm not getting you now, but I will want you later. I am sorry, but I will get you later. Um, I'm going to move you up here for more activations on here. Even though it's probably not going to activate on the 30, right? You never know, I guess. There might be a chance that it'll activate, right? We'll just have to see. I see what you're doing, brother. I see what you're doing. Let's see what happens here. I say we lose. More than likely, that's what it's looking like. He's got better survivability than we do. 42 critical. Insane. In freaking insane. But we got that. Let's get our Beastmaster. Boom, boom. Double yammy. Yes. Um, let's roll again. 
Porcupine on sale. I'm going to take it. It's on sale. I'm going to take it. And we need both of those. Okay. Um, so let's move you up by one. I'm going to put you inside the fanny pack. And we're just going to put a bunch of these food items around you. Pretty much. How? Um, I guess we can... Uh, You do that actually move you over here okay that works really well actually nice um let's go with you you that's pretty much all. i mean i could move you over by one and probably fit a little bit more inside of you boom 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 hell yeah and then this can go this would be a good spot actually if i could like maybe no damn um I guess it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, I suppose, even though I want it to be. That'll work, though. That will work. Okay. That will work. Wow. Okay, triple dragon scale armor. That is insane. It's going to be taking no damage right here, but his berserker mode isn't going to last that long, which is the benefit of everything, right? So that's really, really good. Probably going to win because of that. Seems like it. Good game. Let's get a blueberry. What are we at? 10. Boom, boom, roll. I don't really need any more bananas, so we're definitely not going to be getting that. I'm just going to put you there. Move you up. I want did it. No. Okay. That works. And we are going to put the blueberry there. That can go there. Awesome. And you can go there. Not looking bad. Not looking bad at all. All right, so now we want the jewel box. Jewel box now would be absolutely amazing. Good game. Boom. Damn, got a shoot of Valor on sale. I'm going to take it. It's a quick decision, but I'm going to take it. Squirrel. I realistically want the squirrel over the hedgehog. Honestly. Do I? Do I? Oh, because we do have the Tuscan Poker, which the Hedgehog increases its damage by 0.5 every spikes. But it's it's easy to remove spikes from anything in this game. It's extremely easy. I wonder if I could fit you in here if I rearrange this a little bit. Maybe a little bit situation like this. That'll work for me. But yeah, it is extremely easy to remove spikes in this game. Um, just going to put you there. So let's see. I would, I'm going to just see how much damage the Hedgehog does here. If it's a lot, maybe I won't remove it. If it's not a lot, then we're getting this, then we're getting the squirrel and we're replacing it with the squirrel. Do we win this? I didn't even take a look at their build. Do they have mana? They have a mana orb. Okay. That's pretty dangerous. No stamina, but they got magic towards plus magic staff. Their DPS increase is insane, um, which sucks. On the bright side, at least we do have the shield of Valor, which is helping us a lot in our favor. But we're going to have to probably rely on the carrots here for that empowerment DPS increase, which seems like it worked out well. Now, let's see how much damage the hedgehog did. 65. That's not a little bit of damage. That's actually a pretty solid amount of damage. I'm not going to lie. Um, in that case, we're just going to get you. Damn, another hedgehog. No, I'm not. I'm not doing another. I'm not doing another one. I'm not doing another one. I was really helping for space. God dang it. I'm a little bit sad about that. Um, I'm just going to put you there. I think I value you over. Yeah, I value you over the banana. Can I get this orb? Two, four, five. I'm not willing to sell anything else. Maybe I'll sell this banana. We're at a 1.2. That's not a, that's not, you know. Let's do it. Question is where I'm going to put it. If I put it there, I could do this. Or better yet, I can do this. And then do that. That's a pretty good spot. That's a pretty good spot for an, uh, for an orb. Alright, what are we looking at? 
hero long sword, but it's not being affected by both of the, uh, the testing pokers. Very interesting. Mighty interesting. Let's see what happens here. On the bright side, at least we're not going to get something that doesn't remove spikes. If we were going to get anything that removes spikes, this headshot would not have done that much damage, honestly. More than likely. But I say we probably win this one because their damage output is not high at all. It's not high at all. And we got a mana orb proc, which is pretty nice. We'll be taking that W. Space, yes. Carrot, yes. Roll. Another clover I will take. No. I don't think I need another clover. Roll. Another blueberry I will take. Um, let's put you there. Blueberry can go there. I do want to make you faster, right? So... I can do this just to move you down by one. And that frees up at least one slot that I can utilize here. Could also do this. And probably just do that and then do this and that works out get the space and we'll roll with that okay. that works out so now this is faster oh an ice build that's not good <clears throat> at least they don't have the critting thing for pyromancer right so at least this hits won't be critting me at the start but still an ice build is pretty dangerous we do have three carrots removing the ice from him though so that's good, but as you can see, it might not be enough. We still might be taking an L here. Yeah. We're giving him a run for his money, though. Holy crap. Wow, we actually won with 12 health left. We actually managed to take that one. Super surprise. Super surprise. I'm sad I haven't seen... I definitely, I need, I'm, I'm surprised I haven't seen the, uh, the box. We need the box of riches right about now, honestly. Definitely probably need the box of riches because I need more, I need more defense. That's what I need because I want to get a gin proc, but we need the blue gems for that. I should have gotten at the beginning of the game when I saw it, honestly. Because now I'm having regrets. Um, I'm going to put you here just to make that better. And let's just do that. That works for me. The more buffs I can steal, the better. The more buffs I can steal, the better. Oh, an Excalibur build. I don't think we have any healing, so... We don't really care about the Heart of Darkness, except for it stealing our... We're going to be stealing each other's buffs, honestly. He's going to be stealing our buffs, and we're going to be stealing it right back from the Squirrel. I think the Squirrel steals buffs faster, though, so that's the thing. We're going to be stealing all his buffs, including the mana that he's generating. Right, so Excalibur is probably not going to be able to proc that often. He might not even get the crown proc off. Well, he's definitely getting the crown proc off because he's at seven right now, right? He's definitely getting the crown proc off. But hey, we got our mana or proc, which is nice crown proc. Still stealing those boosts though, which is amazing. Might even be able to get a second one because he's in. He's going to be surviving a lot while he's in this berserker mode. But we are as well. And his Berserker mode is about to go off. Look at all the buffs we have right now. We're definitely getting that second or proc. Boom. Insane. 16 empowerment. We were doing that much damage with a 100% chance to crit on two of the weapons. Not all of them. Just two of them. But still. Really nice. Um, Another carrot. Yes. Ooh, another orb. Yes. Um, yeah. And... I'm going to reserve you. There's the gym box. That's massive. Gym box is massive. Let's put this orb somewhere. I need to rearrange it. You know, I'm, I'm a, I think I'm going to rearrange this entire situation again. Because we could do this. Which that's not horrible, right? Um, yeah, that's not horrible. And I can move this up. We could put the shield up here instead another proc i don't want to moon shield though we do not want to moon shield and the crits can go there at least they're both inside of ranger sack now so they both get the crits that's the good part um i got three gold so i could sell like something in order to get this gym box if i really wanted to which honestly will probably be both of the clovers 
which means we're gonna have to solely rely on well we can still bust we, we're relying on steel and bust and relying on a blueberry for the clovers right so we really don't even need these two clovers anymore that way we can get you um and i'm hoping to get some blue gems and i'm hoping to get a gin because we're gonna need both of them so we can put that there let's see here i guess we'll put that there honestly i, I think i'd rather have the carrots be nexus because this uh triggers food five percent faster you know i don't really care about the banana i mean we're at a 1.2 i think i just want all of the carrots in here honestly so we'll do that don't really care about the hedgehog either to be honest rip hedgehog but that works for me banana can go there um and i guess we'll just try to figure out this situation to make this a little bit better and a little bit faster you can just go over there that can go there and this can go here like that that works for me as long as all the carrots are next to the bowl of food to make those as fast as possible that's all i care about so yeah in this situation spikes is not going to be a thing that we're going to be able to have because they got double dracunic orb which fucks us a lot <laughs> Um, so Hedgehog's not gonna be doing any damage. We're purely just going to have to rely on these three to deal damage. And they also are gonna come back to life. We're probably gonna lose this. More than likely. Yeah. Unfortunate. Good game, though. Good game. Um, let's get you. And I'm also gonna get... Well, I already got this space, so maybe I don't even need this one. Got the gin, though. I'm gonna roll. Cap of resilience? Um... Uh, It's expensive. That's the thing. That's what I need. I need a lot of these. And that's kind of what I want to roll for, if I'm being completely honest with myself. That's kind of what I want to roll for. I guess I don't mind getting the fannies either. How much gold we're getting next round? 15. Okay. Another one. Nice. How much gold? Or armor? Two. Two armor each, huh? I guess that's not horrible. I won't get a combination now, but probably going to get one later. Ooh. I haven't seen an unhealing build in forever. That's a nice little take on it, too. He's got a poison goober and a blood goober. So he's like a unhealing poison build of sorts. This is pretty interesting. On the right side, we got four carrots cleansing all that poison. But his healing is insane, which also means that should give us a little bit of time to scale our build, right? Because his build doesn't have any scaling. And we're taking all his buffs, which means we're taking a vampirism, which means that his uh, blood goober and his orb aren't, or the thirst isn't going to be doing that much damage to us. And we could just keep on stacking up our empowerment and our buffs. And why are we losing? I don't know why we're losing, but we're losing. Is he going to outheal fatigue here? He just might. Nope. There we go. I, I didn't expect it to be that close. He had 100 more health than us, though. Just pretty gnarly. But I wasn't expecting it to be that close. That was pretty freaking close. Good game, though. Very good game. Let's get the orb. We don't really need a second, a third mana orb. So I think I'm going to pass on that. Um, Roll, roll, another squirrel. It's on sale. It being on sale makes me want to buy it, if I'm being honest. Being completely honest. Um, I think I'm just going to put you here. And I also could put you on the fanny pack make you a little bit faster just probably a little bit better another carrot as well i mean after four carrots do we really need a fifth <laughs> i don't think so let me get this i'm gonna just put you right there i didn't know you gave oh you gave the armor interesting but this works um, definitely need more blue gems, though, because our only armor generation is coming from those blue gems. Ooh. At least we got the shield. Shield is a nice kryptonite against dagger hammer for stamina. He already used up his one stamina potion on his first hit, which is good for us. And we can steal all his vampirism with our with the with the squirrels, which is even better. We just have to out survive his DPS. Because he does have stamina, which is great. Oh, he has Berserker mode. 
Damn! The poison wrapped up on us. Stinking poison. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let's get you. Give me more blue gems, please. I need more blue gems. I'm gonna pick this one. I need more blue gems. Blue gem me! There we go. Nice. What is that? Three? I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna give me a combo nation off right there. Um That will work. That will work. That will work. Oh my gosh. Double sun armor. Oh my gosh. Look how much damage we take at the beginning of the game. It is insane. There's no way you can beat that build. It's a meta build for sure. Blue gem. That's all I need right now is just blue gems, honestly. I don't even care about anything else. Man! Game did not want to give me a blue gem. I mean, it's a six armor. Which isn't horrible, but... Hopefully it'll be enough. Hopefully. Because we need that gin to proc. That's what we really need is that gin to proc. <clears throat> Ooh. It's got triple whopper tinger. Matter touch, double mana thirst, stun, and increases crit chance and critical damage. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down, my friend. He's got a lot of buffs. I'm glad I got squirrels, though. This is a pretty even game right now. Woo! Come on, we can keep up with this Berserker mode. Damn! We never got a proc, bro. It's because of the gems. We were getting six a bunch of times, but we need that seven, bro. We need that seven. If we would have gotten a gin proc, that would have been a different game, honestly. But still, that was a good game, though. That was a good game. 